Hello and welcome everybody, this is Yanima and, and Bongs, we are bringing you a 1v1 today, another Fleet Ops audio commentary. Start Good day everybody! <laughs> and starting off, thank you Bugs, um, with the green Klingons up in the top we have Stardust versus Butterbread down here as the orange Borg. So Bugs, what do you think these guys are going to do here? Uh, well, let's see here. Um, Borg versus Klingon, obviously there's not a whole lot of options for the Klingons versus Borg. There are some pretty crucial ships that you really need to center your fleet around so that uh, you don't waste waste your supplies and stuff like that. Um, I think, to be honest, we'll, how this game will go will be determined by what strategy Butters uh, takes today. So... So I'm looking up here at the Klingons, and they are pumping out what looks like a Katinga rush. That's interesting. interesting. I I would I would not do a Katinga rush against Borg, but um, you know I I don't Katinga rush very often. It might work very well. So what would they end up doing? So they're going to end up coming down here. I mean, the Borg's got he's got his conduction matrix up. He's going to be able to. He has mm -hmm. an option of either going. Uh, he's probably going scout cubes and probes. And um, that would be able. To, there goes the energy uh, nodes level one. <laughs> Stardust. <laughs> Stardust is continuing rushing, isn't he? Yeah, he's not the most comfortable playing Klingon, as, as I recall him saying. Um, Butters, on the other hand, Butters really, really likes to go for spheres uh, first. So we'll see what he ends up doing. Uh, but not this time. He he knows he's got a small map, a relatively small map. You can see the probes lined up in the queue. Yep, you're right. And you know, Butters watched the other day when I tried a, an unusual tactic against um, a player on this map here, and I I, I did I started with small vessels, and uh, I ended up making a several relay dodes that had intercept modules. Um, and then I would essentially creep forward, kind of like Zerg would in um, StarCraft. I would creep forward, secure each area, and never let up pressure. And when I could, I'd put down a, a Dode relay in a place where it would be, you know, kind of like you, just not fair. <laughs> hey, not fair is totally game. <laughs> so here we see the board, the board detector moving in, getting a little, taking a little fire from Starbase. Don't know why the Stardust isn't trying to capture that guy. He's probably down here uh, focusing on his second field yard. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he, he no longer... Okay, so he wasn't he wasn't Katinga rushing. He was just early expanding. Yeah, and he's also... He's doing Quebecs. So that's a good choice. He's getting the field research maybe to get Cavorts. I'm not sure. Maybe just for Heavy Disruptor. I'm not exactly sure why he's doing that. So... Um, you know, I, I don't know if you'll agree with me on this, but when I play against Borg, um, I tend to avoid the field yard and go straight to a battle yard, regardless of what avatar I'm playing, just because uh, because basically that gives you more options and it gives you more firepower from some of the heavier ships like the Sang, the Vorchar, the Charg, whatever you, you know. Uh, but then you need to run up, run into what Butter is doing here, where he's got probes and scubes, and so. Yep. And it looks like actually Butters is expanding here early too, so uh, he was How actually just feigning um, the probes. D he doesn't have a single. Where, huh. Does he have a single probe out? No, he doesn't. He completely I... doesn't have a single probe. Uh, Thank you, Butters, for just screwing with everybody. Yeah. And actually, that's it worked too because uh, like uh, well, he's making a Burrell and then Cavorts. I think he was trying to counter those uh, probes with the Cavorts, but. Uh, I don't know, he might, he might get his butt kicked. Now why in the world would he be making a Burrell here? I don't know. Um, it's so, so fragile. <laughs> Burrell against Borg is just a terrible idea. It's just asking to give Borg a, uh, a kill. Yep, and he's Martok too. <laughs> so no torpedoes. Here we have a intercept and an EM scube. Oh, I'm sorry. No, he's he's um yes, no, he's Martok, yeah. Yeah. And we see Borg moving up just hanging around the middle. 
He's got the scout uh, hanging about him, uh, so he knows exactly where that fleet is. Uh, where is his team? So I think Stardust here needs another scout just to kind of... Yeah, you know, um, one thing he, uh, I believe he is doing a good job of is he's doing a good job of keeping his scout on those Borg ships. Something you need to do against Borg, I almost always advocate this, is you have to watch where their fleet's going. Borg rarely split their fleets, and uh, scout cubes move really, really quickly, so you've got to watch them, and you got to keep track of them so you can always be where you need to be. Absolutely. Um, here they go, popping in and uh, managing to get a... popping all of those tri-miners. Yeah, certainly did. So uh, That was a little premature, if, in my opinion, to pop all those miners, but... You know, against Borg, the Katingas never hurt because they will always. Uh, uh, they will extra firepower against small Borg ships. True, true. Uh, but he's going to be hurting for uh, die for a little while now. Well, actually, he looks like he's got two of them already lined up. This was sort of an aborted. Hmm. Has this odd sort of look of an aborted Katinga rush. He's just waiting for yeah. attack. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of funny. It's uh, kind of like the... Okay, so Butters is going to do a Dode. I wonder what kind of Dode it is. Hmm. I can't tell at this point. So he's... he's uh, yeah. What is he locked on? Should... He doesn't have enough minerals. He's only got 500 die, so he's probably... <laughs> you said mineral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Welcome to comes... StarCraft 2, ladies and gentlemen. It's... Shh. <laughs> So um, so one thing to note is that uh, these Katingas are incredibly fragile to scout cubes. Oh, yeah. um, and there's just no reason to lose them if you don't have to, so you got to be really, really careful once you pop them. Pop them. There he goes. That? Good boy. Gets, that, gets it out of there. Good job. Puts a little bit of damage on these. Guys. <laughs> I can't believe that. Totally one going. thing that we can all agree on, Stardust is so good at not losing ships. He's yeah, so good at it. He, he like knows, just like, okay, how fast is whatever is firing at me? And look yeah. at that, he's like... <laughs> he saved awesome. every single one of those Katingas, yeah. <laughs> he loves his <laughs> ships, and that, that, that is great. That is absolutely yep. great. And um, see, what happened here was he just did a ton of damage across three different scubes. Um, and did not lose a single ship. He can repair all of his ships. The Skubes cannot repair. Yeah, and he's trying to get that one guy away. Let's see, is there a... Oh yeah, that EM Skube is still out there. Uh, yeah. But yeah, he's done a great job of damage there. He's going to end up... Get... He is going to get away. That Skube... Is he? He is. Sometimes uh, EM, EM Field doesn't work, so... Right, it'll be... Star, don't go through that nebula. It'll miss, and... Uh... <laughs> Yeah. I don't remember what the failure rate is. I think it might be 50%, something like that. It's a pretty high percent. Yeah, so here we have the Dodies out, finally. Klingons have set up their... They've got their second expansion almost completely full. A little bit of... Nope, so this is um, this is a relay regen Dode. And I don't entirely know why... I don't like relay regen, frankly. I think that relay intercept are much better because they can still fight... And uh, when you know, they have such a high defensive value that they really do hang in there long enough, yeah, you don't, uh, you don't really regen. need the regen. Yeah, exactly. No. It just becomes it, it, it's less powerful, and then it's got so much more. It's got more defense, but you don't like you're saying you don't really need that more defense. Yeah, you just don't. I mean, fight with it. Let it fight, and, and it'll tank because it's got a huge defense. And then when it's about to die, you run it away, and you go set it up somewhere as a turret, and it's suddenly this enormous beast of a, of a turret. Yeah, and you, you, you're not you're not going to really tank with a one of those things either because your ships are going to have lower defense anyway. If your Doty turret is going to die, you're already outnumbered. So well, oh man, this is brutal. Uh -oh, <laughs> Butters is getting uh oh got way out of position. Yeah. Hello, yeah. Clouds and extra supply. Honestly, I am going to call that I think this is a distraction. I think that he's using these scubes as a distraction to set up his dode at Star's expansion. I agree. I there totally it goes. Agree. There it is. 
But that's a costly, costly distraction. It's on green alert. It's on green alert because he's gonna do it. <laughs> But there's, uh, he's got a cavort oh, out there. Do it quick. I don't know how much out. damage yeah, these five things. Five seconds. Oh, ah. that's gonna be. Risky. I don't know how long it takes. No. Nope. Oh, nope. it's dead. Nope. Oh, denied. Now, see, Butters is gonna yell at me after this because I told him that this was a good idea. I don't <laughs> think he should have put it so close. <laughs> uh, you really, yeah. You don't actually have to put it in there. All you have to do is put it like, uh -oh. I'm like, uh, sort of on the opposite side of where that. Uh, field yard yeah. is in between the two. That'd have been great. All you got to do is be within range. Yep. If uh, as long as the range of that dode goes over, as long as the range of the dode goes over the moon, yeah. they can't mine from it anymore. Exactly. That's, that's the key thing. That's, that's a, yeah, exactly. It's a key thing, and it's all it needs. And what's he got on this other dode? That's an intercept uh, relay dode. Much yeah. better. Yep. Yeah. He's going to end up losing that scout cube. Butters is in a lot of trouble here, actually. Butters is in a world of hurt here because he doesn't have the firepower necessary to handle this ever, ever increasing mass of Klingon ships here. Jeez, and these Katingas are so making their way. Yeah, yeah, they are. Uh, down goes another I mean, scout cube. Ooh, part of it was just that he didn't manage to kill any of those Katingas in the beginning, you know? Yeah, just, you gotta kill them. Gotta kill him, otherwise. Oh, this thing. Oh boy. Oh, this is not. Oh going boy, to be this guy's going down too. Guy I mean, is... it is taking a lot of damage, but I'm pretty sure defense, this thing is toast. Yeah, it's it's just toast. Toasty. <laughs> okay, so Butter's just researching uh, establish energy nodes level two. He's gonna go up to probably spheres because he realized. <laughs> Vet Quebec, everybody. Hello. Oh, and I love the new torpedo animation from the Borg. It's, yeah? It's, I can't see it. Yeah, I know. It's, it's quite nice. It is quite nice. The, uh, uh, it just looks like a big green box to me. It's pretty. Uh, torpedo. Oh, man. Oh, you're a I jerk. I just don't know what the Borg are going to do here. Butters is in such yeah. a crappy position. Oh. He's really got to... He's going to go for a sphere which I think is a good choice just because it's consolidating all of his firepower, all of his resources into one thing that is exceedingly difficult to kill, but I don't really think he's going to be able to pull away with this, yeah, he is. I guess. He has nothing on the board at all. I mean, yeah. geez, the Klingons, so what he's doing right now, he's totally just... He's sending all of his stuff away for uh, distraction, or not distraction, but just like mm -hmm. make them take the longest path to kill all my random crap. Yep. Bait. It's bait, yeah, absolutely. That's what Butters is doing. Butters is baiting Star. He's trying to move his extra miner to the farthest part of the map that he can get to so that he has time to construct his uplink and get his sphere out. Yep. So the question is, does is Stardust going to have a... What is Stardust going to put out instead? So he, he's got... Stardust looks like he is... Moving around, he's still got Quebecs. Still got Cavorts. Uh, yeah. The one thing that Butters has got for him is that these darn resource assimilators are so freaking tough. Yeah, they are. Uh, you know, at this point, to be honest, if I were... Is, I hate saying this. If I were Star, I might have put a little bit more pressure on Butters' base while I knew that everything was essentially dead. Yep. Um, if you can just keep him from mining, you know, Borg bases are really hard to kill. So if you can just keep him from mining, no sphere. Absolutely. Or you can just come down into, yeah, anything on the main base. And there yeah, goes I mean, the sphere. He kind of took the bait. The Here comes the sphere. <laughs> But still, I mean, even if, even if, um, now, if, if the Klingons are, like, super gutsy here, they could just swoop in and go for the sphere kill. Yeah, that Maybe would be GG, that? if you ask me. That would be GG. Uh, not from Stardust. Stardust is far too cautious, and he's far too protective of his ships. He would never, he'd never do a suicide dive into, uh, into the star base and start losing ships. And there he is doing what you were saying he should have been doing earlier, and he is just yeah. pounding away, making sure that. Uh, yep. That but the sphere will come out. The sphere will come out. Yeah, this is what he should have done, in my opinion, uh, after he 
kill that doe. She just come right in here and just basically denied the Borg their mining. And uh, I think that would have ended the game. Butters would have just said, well, good game, because I can't, I can't mine anything, and thus I can't put out any ships. Yeah. Uh, here comes Sphere. It's a... Is that a regen beam? No, is, no, 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 uh, I'm sorry. That is a uh, prime. Prime regen. It, it's prime regen, but I thought prime regens had had 1334 energy or something. This one's got 1553. Am I just wrong? I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and now so Star is backing off again, and really, I mean, Star, Star also doesn't like to finish off his opponents. He feels bad actually taking the person's star base, so we may see him kind of hold out for a while. Well, that'll give the board a ch chance to, like, Get a leg up on stuff. Yeah, I really. Butters is gonna have to take more. Um, he's gonna have to take more moons if he's gonna pull away with this at all. And he just and Stardust is not gonna let him. Like he's doing, he's keeping the pressure on the main. He's like, nope, no yep. try for you, buddy. Um, That's right. He can uh, keep sphere getting that physics sphere. blocked. <laughs> he can keep that sphere in that base. Yes, he can. Boy, yeah, this could, uh, <laughs> I hate to say, this could take us a little while here because Star is, is not super aggressive in, when it comes to, um, you know, sieging a main base. And uh, it's really hard for Klingons to take a Borg base just because, you know, Kavorts, Burrells, they're all pulse based. Yup. So let's see, has he got a battle yard up anywhere? Nope. He is uh, moving a miner out, though. Oh, it looks like he's gonna try yeah. to pick up. <laughs> Is he really gonna try to get Katinga? <laughs> Which just got its engines himself? back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah you know, back. he's setting up extra expansions. That's good. I mean, overall, what he's doing is he's essentially saying, okay, I can't take your starbase yet. I can't take your starbase plus a f sphere yet. Which he can't. If he were to try and attack it, he would lose both. Um, he'd lose his, his fleet. Um. So he's going to consolidate that by taking as many moons as he can here so that his production is just unmatchable, even by Borg. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the Borg are sitting on, like, six, seven hundred die and with plenty of try. Yeah. Uh, he's got enough for another uh, another sphere in terms of connections, but he's got he's to keep his dilithium going up. Yep. And he's just hovering around and keeping that sphere in that area, which is good. Um, yep. He'll he'll make the Klingons take losses, but, and, and there goes the battle yard up in the top right hand corner. You see the battle yard almost done. Yep. Uh, it's a little bit far further away than I would expect it. I would have almost said that uh, Klingon should have done that in the middle, giving them um, yeah. Because you know they can keep Proxy. that sphere in. Mm -hmm. If as long as they've if they've got a repair yard in the middle, they can retreat any damaged ship quickly and then bring it back into the battle uh, without having to scurry all the way back to one of those corner bases. And Stardust is doing a really good job. I mean, if you're looking at what Stardust can see on the map, he can see pretty much everything. Yeah. Yes, he can. Stardust coming in. Trying to get a conduction matrix kill here. Yeah, that would mean no more spheres after this uplink here. Yep, but he's got to watch out for a short range. That short range will get too, uh, <laughs> get too cozy with that star yeah. base. Now, if, if Star really wanted to be a jerk, he would wait until Butters... Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> it's almost a little bit of a futile measure there. I mean, he's, he's going to be able to keep that down, but... Yeah. No, uh, that's only... That's a small cost. It's a, it's a minor it is, inconvenience yeah. there. If he really wanted to be a jerk, he could have waited until Butters actually bought the Sphere chassis. <laughs> oh, that's, that's totally the... It's like, why? Why? Come on, just wait a little bit further. Yeah. See, what he should do right now, sit outside of their engine star base, destroy the conduction matrix. I think Butters would call GG. Yeah. And Butters is putting up another uplink. Super easy. And it's yeah. much easier, much range, much closer to the range of that star base. Yeah, indeed. You know, frankly, I think when it comes, uh, in terms of like game etiquette, I'm not knocking anybody in this game, but when it comes to game et etiquette, like, clearly Butters is in the is you know has a landslide piled up against him here um, I would probably 
say your goal as as the winning player is to try and make your opponent feel like it's okay to say GG and quit. Like Butters doesn't like to quit, um, but if you were to destroy his conduction makes it here, leave him with basically a star base and a sphere. I think he would go. All right, I'm done. And we have a little bit of decloaking, and maybe that's what he's trying to. Wait, where'd he go? Uh oh, I think oh. that was a mistake. <laughs> Oh, he, no, no, he's got his Gavorts trying to bait that sphere a little bit. Oh, that could be. Because he, he's got his uh, Quebecs and Katimas, the medium range, over on the Conduction Matrix, and he's trying to do that, yeah. I guess. Um, bait. Yep, bait, you're bait, right. Bait, bait. He's going after a miner. <laughs> he's a there you go, close. Star. A little bit too close. Kaboom, kaboom. Let's, let's see, what do, what do we got for as far as what that sphere is going? Yeah, he, he he doesn't need the he doesn't need the conduction matrix at the moment. He just needs the dolithium. Yep. He just needs the sphere up. He's got two uplinks that'll save him enough. That'll give him enough. Um, uh, he yeah, he's got the uplinks. That's the only requirement in order to build something. <laughs> yeah, and he should have the money to build this sphere now. He needs to throw it up at the top uplink. There it goes. There goes there the sphere. Goes. And he's probably building right now too. Yes. Yep. He there he goes. Is. Smart play by Butters. He's waiting for, uh, you know, he's waiting to make sure that his his uplink can't get rushed and uh, and killed while the sphere is building. Uh, he's managed to take out a couple, at least one cohort. Um, yeah. He's hanging in there, just hanging in there. And another <laughs> uplink might yeah. be okay idea here. Yeah, I agree. Get it out there before you lose your uh, <laughs> before you lose the conductor. Make you can't make any more. Let's see, no thing is gonna stick around, or might as well at this point just get the damn conduction matrix. Yep, and there it goes. Three, two, one, kaboom. <laughs> So uh, something that Star has been doing, Star has not been idle during this time. He's uh, working on Sangs from his battle yard. Uh, very smart idea in my opinion. He's they're very good at handling uh, spheres, dishing out that damage. So we're looking at 800 try on the board now, and they're just con coveting their dilithium miners. <laughs> Two spheres. Yeah, they are. Two spheres. Well, I mean, to be honest, Borg, I think, can can come back from a lot. They can come back from a lot worse odds than on other, than other races, um, just because you rarely lose the bulk of your base. It's true. Um, and those spheres, those spheres are unique in the sense that they can literally lose all their arms, all their legs, their torso. As long as they have an eyeball left, they can they can like fully regenerate. <laughs> Starfish of the freaking fleet ops. <laughs> That's right, yeah. So what's this other guy? He's got a beam got a beam sphere? Is it? Plus thirty two percent resistance against beam weapons. Yeah, this guy's oh, a beam. Yeah, it certainly is. It's a double beam sphere with um double beam sphere with two regen. Cool. Interesting. We'll see how that works. Well, <laughs> I like it. He's already got pretty good resistance to the pulses of the cavorts because he's he's large size, so he's just trying to he's trying to do a lot of damage across small ships like the Katingas that are all beam armed. Not a bad idea. Yep, it'll take the it'll take the edge off of them a little bit too, as well as the Quebecs. Um, yes, indeed. And you don't have the problem with the torps missing. But 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 but. Okay, and still co coveting that d the lithium mining. Because he needs it, that's for sure. He does. He, he's got... He's about to lose his uh, tri-miner very, very shortly. And what do we have here? Yes, he is. <laughs> a dude's tri -miner. And let's see where the... Uh, they're all over that guy. Starbase. Is the Starbase upgraded? Nope, not at all. That's probably good. Yeah, he really needs to. I, mean, I don't know. The star base, a little bit of upgrade. He might get a couple kills out of it, but I think the spheres overall will do him more good. 
There we go, Butters did the smart thing. He was feigning like he was gonna chase the beam ships, and now he's gonna take some of these cavorts down. The question is, he's gonna be able to get the cavorts. There goes one. There goes one. Sorry, everybody. I don't think Yandan and Man and I are exactly the uh, the most chipper this morning for some reason. <laughs> it's just kind of like, oh well. Do, 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 do. That guy's dead. <laughs> and that one's dead. And that one. Yeah, this game has been pretty. Uh, you can see a lot coming from our position, and it's just Butters yeah. just holding out for dear life here. Uh, Stardust is just ramming everything on the map, basically. Yep. I still think that, uh, you know, when you're in this position where you're basically sieging a Borg base that just refuses to die, take that middle take that middle moon, put up a yard there, you know? That will let you strike in three directions without hesitation, really. Here comes the third sphere. Here comes the third sphere. Yeah. If, um, See, this is where hesitation costs you. <laughs> yes, it does. Now the Borg are getting in a nastier and nastier position. Yep. Star is sitting on 2,000, 2,100 uh, dilithium, almost 2,100 tritanium now. He, frankly, I would be teching up with that. He realizes he's going to be up against uh, three very heavy ships that are very difficult to kill and uh, live a long time and stack very well. He needs to start getting bigger ships that'll deal the kind of damage that uh, you need to kill Dancing Spheres. Yeah. However, um, Butters is in... He's kind of run out of... He has no more supply. He can't make more spheres. Um, yep. He is on his last leg. Uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. I mean, he's reached a critical point now where he has to stop making spheres and he has to uh, concentrate on... He's got to keep mining so that he can make a, a he conduction needs... matrix again. See, he's got is that a fourth to... sphere? No, 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 not as forced. He's just I just saw three. some. I just saw something pop. Oh, okay. I think now would be a good time for him, honestly, to move out and attack because he's now is the strongest he's going to be compared to Star until he can put up a conduction matrix, another uplink, get a supply center going, which is going to take him forever. So um, I think he needs to attack now while he's got the chance. Pull his miners in close and run. Let's see what he does here. Let's see. We got Stardust. He's just chasing after that. What's what is this miner doing over here? <laughs> yeah. See, Butters is trying to protect his mining. I think that's a mistake. I think he should get his ass out there and start attacking uh, Star. Make Star go out to him. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and when he gets over there. Um, then he'll know where the fleet is, and he can redeploy his mining. But um... exactly, because right now Star's fleet is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and Butters will take another five, six, seven minutes probably before he can make anything. And here we go. Whoa. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa. Come on, we'll get a little regen here, please. Uh, spheres Boom. not uh, not dancing properly. Yeah. So up. Butters is obviously uh, gonna he's gonna try and do a sphere dance, which is he's going to retreat any dying sphere to the back of the group, uh, while the other two spheres continue to deal out damage. Got everything within the range of that starbase. The starbase has upgraded yep. at least one offensive-wise. Oh, and wow, that yep. sphere is gone. Wow, it is gone. The Quebec's just, you know, saying sure, sure help there, too. Uh, yes, indeed they do. I, 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 yeah, I don't know. I don't think the... Uh, Wow, he just got critical mass and just uh, after him. Yeah. This is I'm I'm a little uh I'm a little concerned for Stardust here though. I'm, I'm not I don't think he's gonna lose, but I think uh he's taking a lot of losses out of this and if he doesn't kill at least one more sphere like that guy right there. He needs to get him, he needs to he's get him. He's in deep, deep oh. trouble. Oh he'll get him now. This is the beam sphere. Yeah, this is the beam sphere running away right now. Oh, See? Butters should have kept running to the right with that sphere. And that there, that there, has got to be GG. It's got to be. Uh, <laughs> cheese play! <laughs> <laughs> See if you can't grab something. Like anything. Yeah. He's gonna get it. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, no, 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 one no, the other no. Fangs is trying. Dust is all <laughs> over that. Yeah, he is. And that sphere, it's nowhere in position at all. I mean, mm. if uh, if he wanted to, he could have that. But uh, yep. mm, well, gosh, this is. I mean, Butters Butters lost two thirds of his fleet right there. Uh, Star did not lose that much. Star lost a lot, but he didn't lose two thirds. He's got Vorcha out. He's got more more Sangs. This yeah, is this has got to be sleep. GG. Yep. <laughs> Butters just refusing though. <laughs> Butters sitting on just three die. Star. <laughs> <laughs> Butters getting cracked. <laughs> yeah. See, just you know, uh, as an overall, overall gameplay kind of thing here. Star knows. Star has excellent intelligence. He knows where everything the Borg can field is on the map. He should be taking every single mining station on this map right now. Yes. Or every moon. Because then, I mean, if Butters were to see, oh, he's got five moon pairs plus the center, I'm just going to go ahead and say GG and end it. <laughs> yeah, and then the Borg's perspective perception on this is he's got this one detector out there. That's the, he sees the middle yep. and he sees his base which is <laughs> not a lot. Nope. No it is not. That poor sad try miner just desperately trying to mine try. It's like I would just like a little bit of moon please. It's so depressed it can't even mine. <laughs> just sitting there. <laughs> Why bother? Here we go. We have the watches coming down with the Quebec escort. Yep. Wadoot is on the nice. way. <laughs> See, Star is still sitting on 2,900 2, dilithium and 2,000 tri. Yeah, he needs to spend more. Yes, he does. He's researching Polar on Torp. He's got his uh, Ordnance Depot up, but frankly, I, you know, I think the heavier ships should have come out earlier. Up, take out sphere, just be done with it. Uh, Borg are slowly yep. getting. I mean, Borg in a position where they're start going to be supply locked. Yeah, <laughs> pretty funny. Uh, and the supply locked Borg. <laughs> Klingons have 200 supply. Yep. So, waiting on this fleet. There looks like they're going to go for it. It's got a lot of yep. stuff still, sort of straggling. Well, Butters is is trying to he's trying to hang in there. He's trying to get enough titanium, probably to set up a uh, incubation center and get some supply going. See. Come on, boys, cloak, decloak, decloak, and decloak yeah. now. Take Star, the kill that, kill that goddamn spear and now. end this game. <laughs> GG the thing. Now there's an upgraded book base. That is an upgraded book base. Yes. <laughs> Take that guy down. There's your Boom. 10 second kill. There is your 10 second spear kill. That's right. Can't tell they, they can star, finish it. Finish it already. Finish it, Star. You, you've got the. You knock its weapons out. Go. Go. Oh, oh my god, Star. On. I get so mad at Star when he does this because it just drags the game out. Kill it. Kill the damn Star base. <laughs> it's don't dead already. Game is over. G End it. G G G please. Anywhere. <laughs> Even if you point. lose every single one of your ships here, Butters will probably still say GG and quit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Stardust and baby. There, there, there the GG. Hey, good game, everybody. Good game, everybody. All right. <laughs> well, this is Boggs and Yedin, and we will see y'all later. On that flip side. Yep.